Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Galley. Uh, welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Isaiah chapter 6. Tyler. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And another cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of the people full, and their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and return and be healed. And then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant, the houses are without a man, the land is utterly desolate, the Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land. But yet a tenth will be in it, and will return and be for consuming, as a terebinth tree or as an oak, whose stump remains when it is cut down, so the holy seed shall be its stump. All uh. right. So as you're looking at this, um, here's Isaiah. He sees this wonderful scene in the throne room of heaven. He recognizes his own sinfulness and God's holiness. That's what's called humility. He doesn't have to run himself down. He recognizes he isn't really deserving to be in this place and definitely not to be able to see and hear the things he's seeing. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's called humility, okay? Not that, oh, Tyler, you know, I'm a horrible worm, and a, I'm not, a, you know, at least I'm, uh, you know, you're, you're not as much of a worm as I am because I'm trying to be humble, so I'm going to say I'm worse than you so that, you know, you know I'm serious about being humble. No, that's, that's actually called false humility, and that's actually a worse sin than arrogant pride if you really understand what false humility is. Um but look at the next part of this, right? The Lord purifies him. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I'm undone, man, I'm unclean lips. Lord purified you, all right. And then the Lord starts talking. Who's going to go? Whom shall we send? And he answered back, I'm here. And I find that interesting, right? There's no one else that's human that they can send. You see, they, God does not send. The Godhead does not send. The court of heaven does not send angels to do the work of men. But Isaiah is the only man standing there. And, and so the Godhead says, with the rest of the court of heaven, whom shall we send? And he goes, well, I'm here. Send me. He's the only one. He's the only option. But look at Isaiah's life. Isaiah got to see things, to know things. His words are still here basically 3,000 years later. I know it's not quite 3,000, but we'll just say basically 3,000. Um, remember, if you watched last night's video, remember what I said? There are some, the majority of people who've ever lived on the planet, nobody knows their name. You know why you know Isaiah's name? Because he was the guy that when the Godhead said, who's going to go? He's the guy who went, um, I'm the only guy here, but I'll go. Mm -hmm. Do you understand sometimes the key to being blessed is just going, well, I'm here. You might as well send me because mm -hmm. I'm the only guy around. I'll go. But that should also tell you something about the Godhead. The Godhead didn't go, you're the only man here. We will hereby send you whether you want to or not. You will serve us because you're a slave and, you know, you will serve. No, no. The question's asked, whom shall we send? And so you keep saying, yeah, us. Yeah. The Godhead and the whole court of heaven. God is in divine court. 
that's the point of what Isaiah is seeing. Mm -hmm. You're seeing when heaven is in session. Some of you, heaven's always in session. No, it's not. God's always reigning, but the court of heaven isn't always in session. It's not, it's not, it, yeah, we, we don't have time to go into all the passages that make that clear. There's a mission that heaven wants. But that royal throne room participates in that discussion. And the only man there is Isaiah. So if you want to be blessed, when you see an opportunity to serve the Lord, take it. He said, what if I die? So you go out as a martyr and you're straight in. You're right there underneath the throne, man. You're right there underneath the altar. But what if? But what if? But what if? You know the one question Isaiah didn't ask, Tyler? What if? He didn't ask what if. He just said, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> yep. And they're like, you know, and the court of heaven's like, all right, then. Uh, have mm -hmm. had it, guy. We'll equip you. Here's your message. Mm -hmm. Repent. And, and, mm -hmm. and if they say this, just keep on preaching. How long? Just keep on going. Mm -hmm. And oh, wait. This past Sunday, in how many churches, in how many languages was something from Isaiah read in reference to the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ? Mm -hmm. Isaiah's message still being proclaimed mm -hmm. that he said, I'll go. Anything you want to add, my brother? No, sir. With that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good morning.